Hey first graders, this is Mr. Fries, and today we're going to do a math problem with Scoop and her stuffed animals. Please read carefully for important information. There are 16 stuffed animals in the living room. If 9 stuffed animals are in a basket, how many stuffed animals are on the floor? Let's see what Scoop thinks. So that's Scoop's basket of toys over here. And they're all in the living room. So some of them are in the basket, some of them are in the floor. Scoop thinks I already know the total, so really I'm just looking for the missing part. So this actually really reminds Scoop kind of of yesterday's question, where we wanted to find a total. Well, the difference is today, we already have the total. So it looks like we're looking to find how many are left. Very similar questions, different ways of doing them. Uh, please follow the RDW problem solving process and uh, ask your teacher to press pause. So let's check this out and we're starting with a total here. Scoop is starting with 16 stuffed animals. So I'm going to always start by drawing a picture. So my picture of 16 is going to be made up of a 10. So I'm going to draw a 5 group row. You could draw a 10 frame as well. And that's only 10, so I need 6 more still. So I'm going to draw another 5 group row. 5 and 1 makes 6. So I've just represented 16 made up of 10 and 6 ones. And since my stuffed animals are in two different places, I'm really looking to take away. I know some of them are in a basket and some of them are on the floor. So I'm going to have 16 take away 9 be my number sentence. Now, I could do all sorts of things. I could count up. I could count on from 9. But what I like to do is I like to try and take away using my picture and using things I know. In fact, I like to take from the 10. So when I look at this, I would try and take from these six ones here. But I can't take from these six ones over here because... 6 minus 9. If I have 6 of something, I can't take 9 away from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take from my 10 first. If I have 10 of something, and I'm going to take away 9. I really like that number sentence because I know when I have 10 of something and I take away 9, I have only 1 left. So now that I have only 1 left, I still have 6 more left as well. So I'm going to write a new sentence, the one I have left plus the other six I have left means I should have seven left. So when I go back and look at my number sentence of 16 minus 9, I think I have seven left. So I've read the question, I've drawn a picture, I've written a couple different number sentences, but I still need to add what my question's about. I have seven something, what do I have seven of? When I look at the question, I have seven stuffed animals, so my answer should be seven animals. A-N-I-M-A-L-S. I'm going to circle my answer so my teacher knows where to look. And let's check out another way of doing this problem. We could still use our counting on and our number path. If I have 16 of something, and I want to take away 9, I could count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, meaning I have 7 left. Or I could start at 9 and count on. Put 9 in my head. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So those are two different ways to use your number line and your number path to help you find the right answer. Let's check out our fact of the day. So did you know that dogs love to do work? Uh, many dogs actually help out humans with disabilities. Uh, they like to do work. Some dogs like to hunt. Some dogs like to help out with farming and herding. Some dogs like to work on security. So my question to you is, are you as hardworking and helpful as a dog? I hope so, first graders. Have a great day.